when was it? When did you start the business? The business we started um, in May 1998 um, in the in the Arcadian, just up the okay. Hippodrome. So it wasn't here all the time. No, we were there for like two years, and then and, and then while we're there, we got lots of people coming in and saying, "Oh, you're talking." And it was like because we we came to Birmingham about a year or so before, so we knew nothing about the history of the city before. But everybody used to come up to us and go, "Oh, this reminds me of Carnival and all the and all this thing from the past." Mm. These, and then you know, then realizing there was this amazing thing that happened. Well, that has happened on so many occasions from the city that, in a way, the rest of the country doesn't really know anything about. What were the main like changes or changes from since you started the business to now? Well, I suppose we've had to react to everything that's going on out there. So there is turmoil out there, in politically, economically, socially, you know, everything that's happening possibly is happening. So we've had to wait cocoon ourselves mm-hmm. and add as much value as cleverly as possible to counteract that because the way um, all this culture has become so throwaway, mm-hmm. art's throwaway, clothing's throwaway, you know, Primark, you get it throw it. You know, this I didn't ever feel that, you know, when we started, I never thought that would be the case. So I've tried to put my painting on the clothing so people then can value it. But at the same time, if they want to just chuck it in the washing machine, it's also quite refreshing. Because it then, it takes the ego away from the artist as well, which I think is good. Because it's really important to be grounded. Because otherwise you just end up thinking you're great. And that's not good because you don't remain creative. But with with the tiger, when I did it, I, I hated that idea that Originally, you know, this thing about fur and the fact that pe- you know certain um, things are endangered, certain things are being killed because of their fur, and it's like people are trying to take the power of the item. And I wanted a way, I wanted to do it as a resistance to it, in the way where it became a pattern, and then it was such an I- iconic thing. And, I'm, and at the same time, I never painted an animal before. I've always painted faces, and I but and I wanted to bring it alive in a way where it is, you sort of feel its character and its pride and its strength. And then the more I was painting it, the more it started to intimidate me because I started looking into its eyes and then looking into the patterns and then realizing, you know, the nature doesn't do anything by accident. So the patterns itself start to hypnotize and you get all these false eyes. And it's all about hiding, hiding things, hiding the wet, the, and then, and yeah, ultimately, then eventually, when you do see those eyes, I suppose if you get you, that's it. You're dead. Aren't you? <laughs> yeah. And also, uh, picking up the patterns, so you use patterns a lot uh, through your clothing as well. And I'm just wondering, you have a lot of this. On one hand, you have you work a lot with symmetry. But on the other hand, with your clothing, you work a lot with asymmetry. Mm. So, uh, who who inspires you with, with doing clothing, or what inspires you, or what condition well, inspires you? Well, the clo- the clothing, the clothing is a is a sort of conversation between me and theory, which my wife. She would some of the shapes she would come up with, and mm. you know, again, you know, we've, it's like a fusion what we do. And in a way, disorder is all about breaking the rules. But at the same time, people respond to symmetry because when we're evolving, um, they're saying that beauty, the more symmetrical you are, the more beautiful you are. And that's what the brain is attracted to because it's about the more symmetry, the more healthy you are. So it's a, almost an evolutionary biological thing. So it's like a combination of that. So as you sort of settle, you also break it and then you you break it, but you create a certain amount of balance.